Both Ottawa Glendorf and Defiance finished the regular season with identical 19-5 records and tied at 8-1 atop the WBL standings. Today, the co-champs of the league get to battle it out at ONU in the Division II District Final. Bulldogs won the regular season meeting by 13 at Defiance, and the defending state champs had no problems with Elida in the district semis. Meanwhile, OG is coming off a win over previously unbeaten Upper Sandusky on Wednesday. Packed house at the ONU Sports Center first quarter. Nick Wyrock drills a three from the wing, putting the Titans up 9-3. to three. Later in the quarter, it's Shea Smitty answering back for Defiance. The lay-in plus the foul. OG leads 13-10 after one. Second quarter, Cordell Stover. Check out this spin move and drive into the lane. Pretty finger roll off glass. Titans by five. Back on the other end, Bulldogs' Michael Menendez. That's a baseline jumper for Michael. Ensuing Titans possession. Stover picks up the loose ball, kicks it out to Jordan Verhoff. Wide open three. Ottawa Glendorf leads 20-12. Verhoff finished with 17. Still in the second, Cameron Singleton works his way inside and banks it in. Bulldogs down by three at the half. 16 points, nine rebounds for Singleton. Third quarter, it's a one-point game when Zach Unterbrink swishes a three. But Defiance keeping pace. Jordan Scott sneaks behind the defense. Shea Smitty on the assist, and the Bulldogs are in front by two. Tied at 37 now with three and a half minutes to go. Verhoff penetrates great body control, and the senior gives OG back the lead. Less than a minute to go now. Bulldogs down six. Noah Strasbaugh hits a three from the corner. And after a couple of three free throws, Defiance still down three. Last chance time running out. Scott from half court. It doesn't go. Ottawa Glendorf wins the district title 46-43 over their WBL rival. What a weekend for the Ottawa community. The boys are going back to regionals after avenging their loss to the Bulldogs in the regular season. Well, Defiance is so good defensively. You know, they put so much pressure on you in the half court. You know, our big thing was we wanted to be going in attack mode. And uh, Jordan and these guys did a good job of attacking. And uh, you know, I'm just so proud of these guys. Our whole team played really well. And I'm just really proud of our, our whole team, honestly. This was a really tough district. Uh, we just have a lot of heart and we want to win really bad. And that, I think that showed. We're very fortunate to have a great program here with guys that play the game the right way. And, uh, you know, this group, maybe what's maybe a little different than anything, we don't have that, that star power, I guess you say, with, you know, a guy's first team all state or, you know, Division One athletes. But what we got is a group of guys that care about one thing, and that's just winning. And they've done it their whole entire life. And for these guys to get recognized with uh, going to the uh, regional tournament, you know, it's just an honor to be part of it. Division two Bowling Green bracket looks like this. Ottawa Glendorf will play Lexington. Lexington had no problems with Sandusky. That game will be Thursday, 6:15 at Bowling Green. Napoleon and Bay at the bottom half of the bracket. 